Well, it's not exactly uh, the top of the hour, but the storyteller is still here. And so this is a very early part of the Wild Show, or else it's the late part of the storytelling. And this is Will 789GB, who exists on Twitter. And I'm interested in social media and what happened with the Exeter Fringe Theatre events. Because uh, I was trying to do a lot of stuff through Twitter, and I exist on hashtags, which we did speak about on, on the Wild Show last week. Uh, hashtag Chris Norton announced himself. He's not prepared to join Twitter, but he's prepared to be a hashtag. Anyway, we'll get, we'll get to that about half past ten. Um, Matthew, I'm going to call you Matthew to keep it simple. Okay, that's fair enough. You should respond to that. But you are also the storyteller. Yeah, and I'm one half of Widsith and Dio. I'm the Dio bit. And that is also known as the Cartwheels Collective. Yeah, afraid so. Yeah, we've got more names than you can shake a stick at. We're very bad at And hashtags. you're also the stand-up philosopher. Uh, yes, I have been. Yes, that's my Twitter handle. Yeah. So you're twi- well. It's stand up thought. Stand- oh God, uh, on, that on tells you how much I, yeah, I even. <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> so I'm creative with words. Yes. it's a nightmare. Yes. Well, it, it is a. It's it's not exactly hashtag discipline, is it? But hashtags are very bad if you are really quite dyslexic, and you have a a computer that has a spelling mind of its own. So I have various hashtags on Facebook and things. Um, I write a long-running series called, um, I think it's meant to be called The Death of Nation, but it's also called The Death of Nations, The Death of Notions, The Death of Notion, and it goes on and on and on. So if you look up anything in the the neighbourhood of those letters, um, I will have hashtagged on it. Yes. (laughs) And of course I'm dyslexic. I can't tell them apart. So, okay. Well, look, I think I'm just going to concentrate on you as a ca- as an extreme God. case of where things could have been different. Uh, where things, how things can go wrong, and precautionary tale, kids. Yes, because, um, <laughs> well, toward, towards, not, what is it, a couple of months' time, there's going to be an Exeter We Are Like Minds. Right. National social media people. And um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to up the game as far as we can here in Exeter. So that we more or less know what we're talking so about. So, Will, can you explain to me quickly what's the point of hashtags then? Well, hashtags, if, there, if there's a, an agreed hashtag that everybody uses in their tweet, I mean, I'm just explaining it from a Twitter point of view, but I, I believe it also works on Facebook, OK? And it's begun to work on YouTube. Well, I'll explain that a little bit more afterward. But the, the basic thing, if it says... Um, X fringe, E X E F R I N G E, all one word, uh, with a hash at the beginning of it, and everybody puts that in their tweets, then you can use that as a search term in the search box, and okay. you'll get all the tweets that relate to that. So you're no longer in a bubble. You might start it out in a bubble of people who think um, comedy has no place on, on the theatrical scene. Uh, and you're not going to go to any comedy shows or a completely opposite to that point of view and if you just uh, look at the tweets from your friends uh, you'll get that point of view reinforced but if you go if you do the search you I, th- I think you'll find every every point of view about the role of comedy in, in theatre. Okay, okay, that explains it. So it's a, it's a way for people to be able to find a whole set of interrelated um, tweets or exchanges. Yes. Okay. So there's one coming up, which is X Street Arts. Uh, I think I've got that right with an S on the end of it. It will matter. <laughs> well, you think it doesn't matter? <laughs> it will matter, I say. <laughs> Part of my uh, problem of frustration with the with it has to be said with the fringe was it took me a long time because I don't read my emails properly to realise it was X Fringe and not Exeter Fringe. Oh right. Or, yes. or yes. Exeter Fringes because there were two others as well. Yes. Well, that's, the, that's, the, that's why I think um, it's worth putting it on the posters uh, in a, in, or in, on the, the programme. Because they had the website, but they didn't have the tag on the front of it. Did they not? Um, which I, I think is worth doing, because then everybody uses the same one. So, yeah, there were people using Exeter, but maybe I, I should stop raving on about uh, what the, you know, this sort of hashtag keeping it all the same... Maybe we just need a robot somewhere which which uh, redirects the traffic somewhere else or suggests to people in a calm sort of way. Because we all know that they work very well. <laughs> well, <laughs> well uh, you, you were mentioning 
of, of yeah, I'm my granny's air, declaring that, war that, on the fish again. <laughs> yes, yes that, that that your 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 language keeps being corrected on Facebook. Yeah, it doesn't like my grammar. I am dyslexic, so it has a, a little point. And then I use proper complicated uh, sentence constructions, and Facebook doesn't really know what it's doing with them. It doesn't like subsidiary causes properly, so it tends to, it's, when it reads it for sense and drafts it, um, it changes the sense really quite radically. It's quite funny. Um. And, and it rewrites words. It rewrites, I'm sure it will. Stuff. It's one of those things, right? I'm very badly dyslexic, so I might, I might, I, I can easily write down notion or nation um, or nation um, without being able to tell them apart. But I probably don't change that to grandma. Um, but sometimes spe- I think Facebook does a whole sequence of moves, keeps on getting it wrong, then drafts the sense, then changes the word a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> and suddenly you get just rubbish. Yes. Because <laughs> it uh, the classic Matthew Ham classic me is um y- if you know what the changes I'm likely to do, you can usually work out what I meant. Um but after Facebook's finished with it, you really can't I can't work <laughs> out what I meant. <laughs> no. No. And um, also I think I've I've got this right. You 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 do work on Instagram, so you can see what Instagram has done. Yes, but you rely on Instagram to post your tweets. I do tweet. Um, I'm, I usually tweet. A, um, yeah, well, yes, a professional troll. I usually I usually use tweeting for political. That's the trouble. Um, so I'm uh, that's so I tend to divide them out. So I do my arts ones on face on Instagram, but then of course I do allow it to tweet. Just cause. But it seems to crop things. Some of the, the the poster that appeared on Twitter was cropped around the edges, so none of the information about the event. Oh yeah, well, was it was included in. Oh, okay, it, so. okay. I, I, yes, I mean, I, I assume if you use the wrong medium, it all goes exciting because they're all compatible a bit. <laughs> yes, but the the other thing I'd just like, like to ask you about is is printed promotion. Because you you seem to be relying m- more and more on social media. Yeah, we do. Um, there's lots of kind of bad reasons for that. So first of all, there's reasons of expense. It's just I print our own posters and they're expensive things to print. And the other thing is that we're forever being pulled in about twelve thousand different directions. So going the idea of going around shops and putting up posters. Um, it tends to not happen it tends to not happen that we print out a lot of them and I've been in the scene uh, doing storytelling stuff for a very long time and my experience is more people come from if if you actually do a proper media campaign on the internet but then you do need to be doing it nearly full time you will get more people than if you put up posters for the same length of time so the, the potential of the internet is... is the potential there. is of the internet is better, but you have to work at it. You have to be doing it. I mean, what you can't do is rehearsals and promotion, it seems to me, on the internet. OK. It's very difficult to do that because to kind of build up the website, to keep it going, to kind of keep on the tweet. So, I mean, I like Instagram. It's true. I like Instagram because every time we do a rehearsal, I do a stupid shot and I put it on Instagram with a cheap, with a silly comment. Um, and I put glasses on one of my puppets and make it study something or just <laughs> something stupid. Right. Or um, I get a particularly good shot with a UV um, bouncy, which you would actually never get on the show, probably. Um, so I get a particularly good shot and then I can put that on Instagram because I'm doing that anyway. I'm so, taking shots. So, so that, that you see that as an extension of, of what you're creating. That's that's right. That's exactly it. So what you can so what that if you were really full time promoting, that is a full time promotion job on the internet or by posters, but you probably get better on the internet. If you are just trying to get a show together Instagram is good because it's very low intense you're going to get the images anyway you're going to you could do it on Twitter as well but that's why I traditionally use Instagram because it's where you would be sharing those kind of images anyway or you yeah, yeah so that's we, we making take, sense that, that just makes more sense to you than, than it makes than more sense to me it, it feels it feels closer to what we're doing because what we're doing is rehearsing uh, well, is it fair to say you're always rehearsing? <laughs> yeah, because you do do yes. the same, the yes. same show, not the same show, but the same stories uh, several times in different forms. Um, do I? Um, possibly. Um, the Cupid and Psyche um, is a slightly different show, but I will do the story in different ways. Um, as a storyteller, 
Yeah, I mean, I have a lot of the same... I, I do some of the same stories different ways. And certainly, with some of the classic stories in the drama show, I do repeat myself over the course of about five years. I will do, I'll usually have done one Odyssey and one Epic of Gilgamesh, because they change every five years. The, the, the interpretation changes. Yes. How that, I understand that, the story that, changes. That, that, that's, that's, uh, that explains explains how it goes. Yeah. Well, look, I think I'm just going to going to wrap this up okay. because I've eaten into the the, the next show, like, which I'll, I'll I'll sort of recover from because Chris is probably going to be here about quarter past. Okay, I shall I shall um, get on. But can I just ask? Can, can I ask you then the difference yes. between hashtags and ads? Then because you you Perhaps. had me up on the difference between them. You said that I was sometimes using hashtags when I should have been using ads, uh, or something like that. No, well, an app is like a sort of program. An ad. The at symbol. Oh, oh, the at sign. Yeah. The at sign is 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 wh where to find somebody. Right. So X Street Arts with an at at the beginning of it is there is there is how to reach them. That's their account. So at means they they know it's there and they'll reply. Hashtag uh, means they don't know it's there. They don't know it's there, but they're probably checking that hashtag. So okay. They, the, the, okay. they would they would be looking at that and they would be seeing what the issues are coming up are, and they would reply to some of them or they'd put out some other information or something. So okay. I, th I think the people organising something are, are checking out that hashtag. Okay. But sometimes the hashtag and the at sign are the same. Well, the, the, yes, I mean, they ought to be practically the same. I thought, um, yeah, probably. Yeah. Or, okay. or related. Or related. Otherwise, you get the cartwheels collective and W and D problem not related. Just explain the W and D, because that makes a lot... We'd sit and deal. So explain, because you, you were saying earlier, we, like, so Cartwheels, and, Cartwheels Cart Collective, you started out we as? We started out as Cartwheels Collective. Um, that was because back in the day, about 15 years ago, there was a lot of us and we were doing a lot of different things. Um, so we were doing, uh, we were always storytelling, but we were doing craft, we were doing making, I still make lots of stuff. Um, there were, and there was, a, well, at its high point, there was about 20 of us. And over the years, winnowing happened and winnowing happened. And so we ended up with just two of us. And so we went back to where um, our storytelling names, which has always been Widsith and Deal, which are the two oldest poems in the English language in the Exeter book. Um, but nobody can ever spell Widsith. Um, and I'm unfortunately dyslexic with Dior and tend to write Dua and don't notice, which which makes it a terribly <laughs> unfortunate name. Yes. And then the coup de grace, we were in France performing, as we do, as we do in the autumn, and the French can't cope with the name Widsith because it's totally un, unimaginable in French it's worse than Welsh um, so they can't cope with it so um, nobody ever used the name Widsith they went on our website and discovered we could also be known as Cartwheels Collectif so we were just widely known as Cartwheels Collectif because that's got a, a, a cadence so we thought oh fudge we'll be, better be that again so we're back at C&C and not W and D but W and D W uh, that 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 N D. I'm going to try try that out. See see how that works because people could people could remember that. Hopefully. W N D. W N D. Capital D, capital W little N capital D. That that I think I think we'll I think we'll try that. Okay. All right. And um, you're going to be part of the street arts. Yep. Yeah, so that's you'll be, be on the cathedral green. On the cathedral green, pitching a TP in the cathedral green. We've got some lovely, wonderful music. Or we should probably be using a hashtag and tweeting who we've got, shouldn't we? Yeah. Okay, we've got some wonderful music. <laughs> so we'll we'll see how that works. But the, you, you don't have a fantastic print budget, I don't suppose, what? because it's a free event. <laughs> <laughs> So we'll we'll have to see what the uh, what the social media could do to to promote Detected. this. Yeah, we've got a nice picture if that helps in the program. A nice picture. Yeah. So are you going to put the picture on your Instagram? Oh uh, uh, well, yeah, I suppose we could. We could do. Yes, that that, that would be organised. Yeah. Well, that would be good. But we'll certainly try and try and re <laughs> re retweet that, <laughs> if not repackage it with all kinds of hashtags. All right, I better go. <laughs> okay, okay. We're going back to the the playout system and see see how that works. But we'll be back to the wild show in a little bit. Okay. Matthew, thank you. That's okay. <laughs>